uh one team randomly advances in the next round which means if i have one two three so you see that it's odd it's not possible to pair up so one will automatically advance and for the remaining even number i will still as i was doing above i will have matches in this order itself so let's say here one advances now i may or may not have even number of uh, like pairs in the in this so as and when my number of teams at any level are odd i will simply advance one of them forward and then again pair the even ones here also i can now pair the even ones so i'll just advance one of the forwards so you saw that it will follow a pattern that if the number of teams is odd one team randomly will uh, advance number of matches will be n minus one by two it is already given nobody should do anything and uh, the number of teams which are remaining or basically these are the teams which will advance to the next round it just automatically says I have to tell ultimately after all the rounds what is the total number of matches played in the tournament. I just say you don't have to do anything. The question itself says if let's say you will be given n in the beginning, right? You are given n in the beginning. So you and you know that as soon as you get one person, you have to break and you have to just count the number of matches. So have a variable, let's say answer. Now, as soon as like just let okay, while your n is more than one because you know that the number of this teams like if the teams are more than one then only matches you will play and you want to count the number of matches so you just will follow the same stuff now you will just follow what the question says if the teams are even now n is a teams so let's just say if n by 2 is equals to 0 then do what then simply in your answer you want to count the, all the matches so if n is even the matches required will be n by 2 so simply add in your answer n by 2 n plus is equals to n by 2 and if that is even the number of teams remaining for the next because for sure you have done the matches but still the tournament is not finished it will go to the next level where the remaining teams will be it is saying automatically n by 2 teams will be remaining so simply assign n as n by 2 now bhaiya, what if it is not even no worries question also says for that if the teams is odd simply the matches required will be n minus 1 by 2 okay simple answer plus is equals to n minus 1 by 2 and the the number of teams remaining are n minus n minus 1 by 2 plus 1 so my n will become n minus n minus 1 by 2 plus 1 and that will be your answer and simply ultimately return the answer with this you know that you just followed what the question says and you will see that it will also work in the constraints itself but 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 here's the catch what you see here the time complexity is actually log n because you will see at every step you are roughly doing n by 2 which is log n to the base 2 operation it is the time complexity space complexity is actually o of 1 because you are not doing anything at all so the time is o of n space is o of 1 can we optimize it can we optimize it yeah firstly like just think of this optimization meanwhile we'll just code this simple thing up very simple like just as i'll just copy the from the left side what the question is saying nothing from my side so while n is more than one because i want my number of matches now if n mod 2 is equals to zero then i simply have to do a plus is equals to n by 2 and n will become n by 2 um else i just do a answer uh, plus is equals to n minus 1 by 2 and n will become n minus 1 by 2 plus 1 now ultimately uh, i am good i'll simply return the answer so with this you will see that it can simply get solved but 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 can we optimize it is the next follow for this question let's quick go and quickly see if you just go back and quickly see what will happen or what is happening is let's imagine we had these matches one two three and four right for sure if i say this one match this one match means it is eliminating this person two this one match means it was eliminating this person four cool okay and ultimately remember we had n teams in the beginning remember that fact and one match is eliminating one person 
also remember that okay this one match eliminated his person three so you you can say this one match eliminated this person three which is his person three okay cool and ultimately you will see we will for sure have a winner ultimately in the end so you can easily see and here also if i just go back again this one match eliminated this person two this one match eliminated this person three and ultimately i will have one minute one winner so every match is eliminating one person and to win a tournament i will ultimately have only one person as the winner so i know that if i have n people n people ultimately one will be the winner remaining all will be the losers and for every corresponding loser i will have a match so that is the reason the total number of matches if i have n n teams in my tournament are n minus one matches because i will have n minus one losers thus i will have n minus one matches thus you can simply say in o of one time simply don't do all of this bullshit uh just simply return a n minus one and that's your answer in o of one time and that's how you can simply get this solved i hope you like it bye